Hi everyone, it's good to be with you as we continue our novena for vocations to the priesthood and religious life. Thanks for joining us. My name is Brother Tim, and I am a conventual Franciscan working in our order's Canadian delegation in the Toronto Diocese. Today I want to introduce you to a great saint, one who continues to influence the world by his deep relationship with God, and that's Saint Francis of Assisi. Francis was a radical figure of the 12th century, and I say radical because he structured and lived his life in a way that was contrast to what the world says, this is what you need to have a good life. Now, this didn't happen overnight. Francis had many conversion experiences that led to his deep spirituality. He was born in a middle-class family in Assisi to a father who was a cloth merchant. Now, Francis was known to be a party-goer in his young life. He was the one that everyone looked to to have a lively evening because of his comical personality and wit. However, after a while, this repetitive jubilation began to eat at Francis, and he began to demand more of his life. From here, Francis decided to fulfill one of his lifelong dreams of becoming a knight, a soldier. However, his first encounter with battle didn't go as expected. After his release, Francis heard the call to arms once more and took off with horse and armor. But Francis never made it to the battle. Instead, he was visited in a dream by a voice that was asking this question. Francis, what is better, to serve the master or the servant? And Francis responded, well, the master, of course. So what did this question mean and what did it lead him to? Well, eventually it led Francis to think that he was always asking the question, what do I want to do? But then began to change to asking himself, what does God want me to do? From that moment on, Francis never picked up a sword again and his road to becoming a peacemaker would soon begin. Many spectacular events began to unfold in Francis's life after this, but it all took great discernment for him to understand where it was that God was calling him. He soon adopted a life as a humble penitent, begging for alms and spending late nights in prayer. God eventually sent him brothers who also wanted to live this similar life away from the world's demands. This pathway led to the establishment of the Franciscan order as we know it today. There's so much more to Francis' story that I can fit in two minutes, so I do encourage you to do a little research and continue to understand how it was that he was called by God and how he responded. So why is this relevant? Well, if you're discerning a call to the religious life or priesthood, you might want to take a page out of Francis' book by listening to those unexpected words by God, exploring more about who he is and who you are and discerning where you are meant to serve and how you are meant to share his love in this world. Maybe we have an idea of what we want to do, but have we ever stopped on a daily basis to ask ourselves, who are we serving, the master or the servant? As we move forward in our novena, let's take time to enter into the vision of Francis, where the world says that you need recognition and power. Francis says, become small, become little. Become still before your God, and if you can do this, you will find Jesus in everything that you do and everywhere that you go. Let's pray the vocation prayer together. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Gracious and loving God, help the men and women hear your call to serve. Our needs are great, and our people thirst for your presence. Open the hearts of many. Raise up faithful servants of the gospel, dedicated holy sisters, brothers, deacons, and priests, who will give themselves for your people and their needs. Bless those who are serving now with courage and perseverance. Grant that many will be inspired by their example and faith. And we ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Now remember to sign up for the Vocations Fair, which takes place in February, and you can find that link to sign up at the Newman Center website. And remember, wherever you go and whatever you do, make sure that you go with God.